and welcome to another vlog on my YouTube channel. My name is Miranda and welcome. Um, today, I'm really excited. Let me just put my camera here because I'm getting a hamster. I have the cage right here. I'm getting a freaking hamster and I've been waiting so, 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 so long for this day. I can't believe this is finally happening out of the way so, so, so long. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair. And I thought, why not vlog it? Because getting a new pet is always so much fun and exciting. And I don't know, I, I want to vlog it because I want to remember this day and look back at it and be as happy. Because honestly, getting a pet, I become like a child on Christmas Day every time when I get a new pet. Animals are beautiful creatures and I really enjoy watching them, you know, grow up personality, taking care of them. I don't know, it's just something about it that makes me really, really happy. I don't know why. I think it's some kind of motherly instinct in me. It, com it just comes out when, um, when I care for my pets. I don't know. <laughs> I just got back from Barcelona and I have a cold and I'm honestly drained like on energy i have no energy in, inside of me but i'm still excited yeah this whole hamster thing it started with me watching Yenna marbles and her boyfriend julian get a hamster and i thought it was adorable and i ended up in this place in youtube of people having hamsters and like making a bunch of cute stuff for them like a small house or a tiny little like pumpkin cake or a pumpkin pie I think it was I don't know or a tiny milkshake for their hamster it's super weird but it's adorable but I was like okay, that's, that's adorable I want that I need that in my life I love it it's adorable I, I want to do that for a hamster so that's kind of how this whole idea of me getting a hamster started I don't know it's just something about it that I really stuck with and then it was just the process of me convincing my mom to get me a hamster which was impossible because she she's fed up with me you know me and all my pets throughout my whole childhood i've had a bunch of pets i have guinea pigs i've had cats i've had goldfish i've had hamsters i've had rabbits you know she's fed up with all my pets and i get it so it took me forever to convince her i didn't want to do it in a way that's annoying and whining you know so that's why it took me so long to convince her and then when i finally did convince her um i contacted a breather and talked with her for a while but it ended up not happening she had me waiting three months and then when i talked to her after those three months she said well yeah i don't have any female ready for this male and i was like okay well where would you find a, a female and she was like well, it's hard to know. When I find a female that is suitable for him, I find one. And I'm waiting here. I've been waiting for three months already. You know? Uh, so I waited. Talked to her again. She found a female. But then she said this female was just three months old. And they have to be six months old for her to breed on the hamster. So I was like, okay. So obviously, I have to wait another three months. And then after that, I also have to wait for the hamster babies to grow up. You know, it's just, I was like, man, no. Like, I, I don't want to wait anymore. I finally convinced my mom. I am not going to sit around and wait anymore. So me and my mom went to a pet store nearby, and we found the one. We found a hamster. It was adorable. She is so cute. I think it is a she, I don't know, um, reserved her because I didn't have my cage, I didn't have anything for the hamster ready at home. I was about to go to Barcelona at that point, so I was like stressing so much, I was like, oh my god, I don't have time for this right now, I have to reserve this hamster longer. And they said it was totally fine, so, and they got my number and everything, so hopefully she's still at the pet store. We don't know anything. I'm gonna go there today and see what's gonna happen, see if I'm gonna pick her up. I'm beyond excited. Um, I can show you a little bit. So this is the cage. Um, I think it's a 30 gallon or a 35 gallon. I am confused. No, I think it's a 30, 30 gallon. I can't speak English, sorry. 
and it has this um wire lid wire lid is it called wire i don't know man um yeah this is supposed to be just the right size for a dwarf so that they can't squeeze through hopefully that is correct because we don't want any hamster escaping and i just have the wheel in there it's um the Trixie wood wheel yeah so that's the cage I have more stuff in here uh, some bedding hamster food sand water bottle bottle blah blah blah, blah bottle and uh, what is this this is a uh, food bowl and I also have stuff in here this is the stuff you got for um, the cage. I don't want to use it because it's like way, the size is just way too big for a dwarf. But <clears throat> I have other stuff. I have a little like house. I built this myself out of popsicle sticks. It's like a little um, tent. I've also made this myself. It's a igloo that I've made myself. I have this bridge out of wood. I have this stuff. Um, I'm gonna give this to my bunnies because it's way too big for a hamster, but I'm, I'm giving this to the hamster. It's like a shoe toy or something. I have this. Um, uh, it's like some shoe toy as well. And I also have this coconut house, but it's like I don't know, the entrance looks so small. I don't know if, if the hamster will be able to fit, but yeah. Um, so this is some stuff I have for her. I also have more bedding in my garage and some hay. I'm gonna go ahead and fix her cage and show you guys the result. And then I'm gonna go pick her up at the pet store, hopefully. So I have the bedding over here. This is the bedding I'm using. The this paper bedding and this um I don't know what this is. Honestly, I don't really know. So I'm gonna fi fix her cage now. Um, we might be getting her tomorrow. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna fix her cage today at least. So we have it ready for her either to come home tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so here we have her cage. So I'm gonna give you a fast little tour. We have this little hideout house there. We have her sand bath. We have her water thing. We have her bowl, her wheel. We have this bendy bridge. We have her shoe toy. We have the tent that I built myself. And don't worry, it's pet safe glue, um, PVA glue. Oh, we have her little nest of hay hair and her pool area and her burrowing area so hopefully she's gonna be happy in here yeah let's go pick her up all right so i just got home with my little baby um her name is gonna be bean or I'm gonna call her Little Bean on this vlog <laughs> because um, her real name is Ba Mam in Swedish. Um, but obviously, I'm speaking English in my vlogs, so I'm gonna call her Little Bean when I'm vlogging. So she's in that coconut house right now. I bought some pellets as well, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill her water bottle up and food bowl up and then put her in the cage and here's just some papers you know recommendations for how you take care of dwarf hamsters and other stuff other papers when you buy animals and stuff from the pet store but yes let's fix um her water bottle and bowl and put her in her new home so i just realized her water uh, bowl uh, bottle is broken and also it doesn't have something to stop the water it just literally goes through this thing obviously because the, because there's nothing stopping it so this sucks um 
So what I did, I've given her a water dish, a bowl instead, and let's pray that she understands how to use one for tonight. And then I'm going to have to get a new bowl, a uh, bottle for her tomorrow. Um, so let's put her into the cage now. Okay, I really tried to get the best angle, but this is really hard and I don't want to wait too long to put her into her cage. So here she is. I just washed my hands. I'm gonna pick up the coconut thing because she's in it right now. Just because I shouldn't touch her with my hands just yet. Go in the coconut. Good girl. My little baby. She's smelling me. Look, darling. This is banan or little bee. Hello, baby. Hi. Yeah. Should we put you into the cage? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah, little bean. I'm also gonna put in her old bedding from her old cage. So my little bean is in her new home. Looks like she's eating. I wonder what she's eating. Maybe she likes the mealworms. I don't think they have that in the pet store. She seems to love it. So, she's in her new home. I'm so happy. She's adorable. Oh, hello. Hello, little bean. Also, I put like a paper tissue in here because I didn't like this bedding. It wasn't that soft. <gasps> she's going in the sand bath. Wait, she's going. the water oh, I wanted her to drink so I understand oh she touched it okay good she touched oh, she's drinking it maybe I'm gonna use water bowls instead she drank it you're a good girl you're smart smart okay let me see the wheel oh my god such a good girl you're learning so fast this is awesome She's really smart. All right. I don't have to worry about you. I don't have to worry about you at all. She seems really healthy and alert. She is exploring. Hello, beauty. Hello, little bean. As I was saying, she I put paper tissue in here so it's a little bit softer. And she likes the hay. She likes the hay. You do, baby. My sweet thing. 